Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mari Dominguez, a little bit of everything. So today I have another quick and easy recipe for you. Shrimp scampi a la marilin. Yep, you heard right, a la marilin or so. That's what my husband likes to call it anyway. Anyhow, once again, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to hit like, comment, share, and blessings to you all. So for my version of the shrimp scampi, you're going to need a package of either cooked or raw shrimp, olive oil, cooking wine, or white wine, sofrito, garlic, I like to use peas and carrots, plus a chopped red bell pepper and a white onion. Okay guys, so here I go. I'm sauteing a little bit of olive oil, the, gar the garlic, in the bottom of the pan and now the shrimp which I put above it all right let's not forget that shrimp cooks fairly quickly so once you see it going pink you know you can start turning them over like so and continue to turn them over until they're fully cooked and like I said they cook pretty quickly so you don't want to overcook them because then they they kind of become like rubbery and also, another quick note, when you're thawing the shrimp, thaw them with cold water. Don't go pouring hot water over them or putting them in the microwave or anything. If you don't let them thaw out by themselves at room temperature, then you just thaw them with cold water, alrighty? And then once they're cooked, once they're fully cooked, I'll be putting them in a, in a side bowl so that I can saute the peppers and the onions that I have here already chopped up and ready to go. Alrighty, so I put it in about a about a tablespoon of olive oil and a teaspoon of the garlic. You see, I already have the garlic minced. I have it with a little. When I mince them up, I like to have them with uh, the cilantro, so it has that little bit of a kick in there. Okay, be right back. Alrighty guys, there you have it. They're almost fully cooked. Now, um, I don't know if I mentioned prior to, but just in case, I also put a little bit of the adobo seasoning in there. And then I will be putting in about two tablespoons of the cooking wine, which is the one I have right here, the Badia co cooking wine. But you guys can also use just regular white wine if you like, or nothing at all. It just depends on your taste, okay? Now I've added in the peas and carrots. Like I said, it's just my taste. I like it. If I was to serve this over pasta, I would also stir fry asparagus and broccoli. Um, um, and then I would serve it over the pasta. As you can see, the seasoning, the garlic, and the seasoning on the, uh, the shrimp. It looks nice and yummy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Alrighty, and then I'll be putting all this into a bowl and then stir fry separately the peppers and the onions and then just put it all together and voila, it'll be ready to serve in just a bit. Yummy, yummy. And so here I've added a little bit more garlic, a half a teaspoon of garlic, a little bit more olive oil, obviously. Um... A teaspoon of sofrito and now I'm adding the peppers. I'm gonna stir fry those puppies in there with the other seasoning so they can catch some flavor there. And once these are a little bit um not as crispy, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Maybe you guys can help me. I'll also put in the onions. Just let it saute a little bit, not too much so that. It doesn't lose its firmness, just that it gets a little bit cooked. And it won't be so raw for the scampi. Hence the word scampi, I believe it means, you know, garlicky. So, yep, that's why we put a little bit more garlic in there. And it's going to be yummy, yummy, yummy in my tummy. 
And voila, there you have it guys, my version of shrimp scampi. You can serve it with salad, you can serve it with bread, you can serve it over pasta, you can serve it with another type of meat like steak or chicken, however you like it. There's no way to go wrong. So, hope you like this tutorial. Please share, like, share your comments. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, but please be nice. I'm still learning. Alrighty, guys? Anywho, thank you. Thanks for watching. This is Mari Dominguez. A little bit of everything. And blessings to you all.